Tomorrow, Minnesota's governor will meet with the family of a driver killed by a state trooper. Ricky Cobb II died after getting stopped in I-94 in Minneapolis last week. His family wants the troopers fired and charged, but right now the BCA has a case. Tonight, WCCO's Jennifer Merrily got a closer look at how those investigations work. Agents with the BCA's Force Investigations Unit respond when officers use deadly force. The job starts with securing the scene and collecting evidence. We're very comprehensive in what we're looking for. We may take the officer's uniform, certainly the weapons, anything else at the scene that may be relevant. If it's a shooting, we gather cartridge casings. We may even take the squad car. BCA Superintendent Drew Evans says the unit formed following the murder of George Floyd is independent. To create that assurance of that independence, unbiased approach to these cases. These agents don't work on any other types of cases. They don't work day to day with other law enforcement. While the community waits for answers, the unit works behind the scenes. Evans calls the team fact finders, gathering statements, reviewing videos. In each case, they ask for an interview with the officer involved. Sometimes they sit down and we provide that uh, interview process. Sometimes they provide a written statement to us. Sometimes they don't at all. The goal is to complete an investigation in 60 days and hand it over to a county attorney for a charging decision. And at certain times that we'll certainly prioritize those cases uh, to make sure if there's a lot of public interest or concern about a particular incident to work as quickly as we can, but as thoroughly as we can and make sure it's done with the highest quality standards. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO News. The Force Investigations Unit is made up of 13 agents plus scientists. They put use of force case files online and we have a link at WCCO.com.